Hello guys, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on binary tree interview question series and this is a video on find the largest sub tree sum in a binary tree. What is this largest sub tree sum? Let's see. So if your tree is like this, then your largest sub tree sum is going to be the addition of all the nodes because there is no negative here. But it is possible that your tree is like this. So if this is your new tree, then see we have this minus two and minus six here. So you know that sub tree means what, right? Like this is also a sub tree. This is also a sub tree. Like this is one sub tree. This is one sub tree. This whole thing is one sub tree. So like this is one sub tree and this is another sub tree and this is another sub tree. So these are different sub trees. Okay. So I'm asking which one is having the maximum sum among all the sub trees. So if you see this now, this sub tree is going to be seven. This is a sub tree. Okay. So this is four, this is five. So four and five are less than seven. So will not consider them and four plus five is nine minus two is seven. That's why the total sum of this is seven. If you'll go up. So for this one, the left hand side sum is seven. The right hand side sum is minus six plus seven, one plus three, four. So right hand side is like four. So four plus one plus seven is the result. Okay. But what if this is not the case? What if it's like this? We have this similar nodes, but what if this is maybe two and this is minus one? Then let's see what is the result. This is again seven and this is seven. I mean the left of this one minus one is seven and the right of this minus one is C minus six plus two is minus four minus four and three is minus one. So right hand side is minus one. So if we add these numbers, then the answer would be five. So we are not looking for five. We already have the maximum sum available, which is seven. So if you will add these, then five plus two, sorry, three plus two is five, five minus six is minus one. So this is minus one. So the maximum is this guy only. So I want answer as seven. Now you would have understood, right? It is possible that all the nodes are like minus only one is just plus meaning all are minus. This is minus, this is minus, this is minus, And then just this one is the plus one. So I want answer this to be four because this is also a sub tree. Okay. I think you got the point. Let's see how we'll do this. So let me undo this. So here, obviously you will use post order because until unless you go till the down level, you won't know that. Okay. What is in the bottom, right? Because you have to go bottom up. Then only you can solve this easily. So you should be able to visualize that first thing is you have to use post because you have to have traverse backward and take the decision. And another thing is you have to take a variable, let's say the answer. So here you will store the maximum you found so far because see, maybe you are traversing here and there you are just going and at any moment you will add whatever is the sum of your sub trees, right? So that sum you will keep comparing with this answer. If this answer meaning you're already visited or already sum of the sub tree is lesser than what you are currently have, then you will update it. Otherwise you'll just leave it. Okay. So currently you will initialize this global variable with zero. And as I told you, we'll go post order. So we'll go here, here, and then here, and then we'll try to go left, but there is nothing. So we'll come back here. We'll try to go to right, but there is nothing. So we'll come back here. Now we are standing at this node and we have to process this. So you got zero from left, zero from right. And how you will decide what is the total sum you have to add this zero plus four plus zero. So at this sub tree, you have to add whatever you received from left, whatever you received from right and your current value, then only you will be able to decide, right? So this guy is telling you this sum is four. So four is greater than answer. Yeah. So let's replace this with four now. So we have at least one sub tree with four sum. Now we'll go back here 
and then we'll go here because we have recursion and we have post order recursion we'll hit here we'll try to go here but nothing will receive zero we'll try to go right but nothing will receive zero now if we receive from both the end zero then again this guy is like zero plus five plus zero is like five and now you have to check is this five greater than already visited or already having some yes it is greater so we'll replace that and make it five now so now I'll go back here. Now after going back, you will return whatever the maximum available here. Okay. So you will return five here and you would have returned four from here. Now minus two is getting four from the left, five from the right. So it has to add all these things, right? So five plus minus two plus four, the answer is seven. So now you will see answer is having 5 currently and 5 is less than 7 so I just happened to find that one subtree which is greater than 5 so I'll update this 7 now so see gradually you are able to find if there is any subtree available which is greater than already visited subtree then you will make that note so currently we visited till 2 I mean minus 2 and we have this 7 now you will return 7 from here now your left hand side for this one is done you have to go for the right hand side because we have post order traversal right you'll go here and then you'll go here the moment you reach here you try to go to left but you got zero from left you try to go to right but you got zero from right okay so zero plus minus six plus zero is minus six minus six is a found subtree I mean some of the subtree but this is less than yours and already available answer right so you will ignore that you will return minus six from here and then you'll go here for this also same you will go left but you won't get anything so you will return zero from there you will get zero from here so it's like zero plus two plus zero which is two two is less than currently what you have so you will not update anything you will go back so you will return 2 now so now we have minus 6 plus 3 plus 2 so it's like minus 1 so you will return minus 1 from here so you will receive minus 1 here so for this one you received 7 from left and minus 1 from right so the addition of this this and this is 7 so the answer is still 7 if this would have been a minus 1 here just assume then this minus one this minus one and seven it's like five so still answer is going to be seven so it is very easy right you have to call yourself let's suppose we have this function you will call your left hand side tree and function with right hand side tree you have to store the result of your left result and the right result and after calling these left and right here in recursion you have to add left plus right result plus your current nodes data okay current data so this is going to be your current calculation and you have to check if this is greater than answer then only you will update this one otherwise you will move ahead so let's see the code for this so this is your code we have this main function call we will call this with root which is one right now and then we'll call this helper function find largest subtree sum until and this is the function will pass root and this answer as reference here so that this will be treated as a global variable for all the stacks okay because this is going to be a reference so we'll not create this variable new for each and every stack it will still be pointing to this answer all the time okay and this answer is initialized with integer minimum so what an integer can hold i mean minimum value what integer can hold as these numbers are like normal numbers not very big numbers i'll take minus 100 for simplicity okay so let's suppose this is minus 100 we are passing minus 100 and we reached here and see first we'll take the left sum how we'll do that we'll keep calling ourselves recursively and we'll reach from here to here here to here and then you will return zero from here because of this line because you root is going to be I mean roots left is going to be null and then you will return 0 and then you will try to execute this line same you will get 0 from here also and see we have this roots data plus left sum plus right sum is equal to your 
current sum so your current sum is like 0 plus 4 plus 0 which is 4 but your answer is minus 100 for simplicity so minus 100 comma 4 which is max 4 so your answer will be 4 now okay so we have answer as 4 we'll go here and return this 4 sorry 4 and then we'll go here from here also you'll receive 0 from here also you'll receive 0 and then this is 0 this is 0 and this roots data is going to be 5 now because currently you're standing here after coming from the left and right recursion so this is going to be 5 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5 so you will see now my answer is 4 and current sum is 5 so which one is greater 5 so you will replace now answer as 5 got it right and then see we are returning the current sum so current sum is returned so which is 5 so for this node you are back from 5 right meaning you are just back from this call for 2 okay then you have to execute this instruction also for 2 so answer is 5 and your current sum is 5 plus minus 2 plus 5 which is 7 so current sum is 7 which is greater 7 so you'll replace 7 now okay your answer is 7 a n s similarly you'll return this current sum which is 7 to this guy then you'll go here and then here and this will return 0 this will return 0 because of this call and this call and then 0 plus minus 6 plus 0 is minus 6 you will see that minus 6 is less than answer so you will not update that you will keep the minus I mean 7 only and you'll return minus 6 from here so current sum is returned from here so minus 6 and you'll come here in left hand side you will receive 0 from right hand side you will receive 0 and then you will sum roots data so roots data is 2 for this stack and left sum is 0 right sum is 0 so the ultimate current sum is 0 you'll compare this current sum which is 2 and the answer is 7 right now see so the maximum is 7 so answer will still be 7 and we'll return this 2 now so 2 plus 3 plus minus 6 is minus 1 you will return minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 is gone answer is 7 you will return 7 from here I mean after adding 7 plus 1 plus minus 1 you will have here as 7 here also 7 so maximum you can choose either one because both are equal and you'll return in the end the current sum but you're not taking current sum here your answer is actually inside this ans answer variable which is holding 7 so you will ultimately return 7 from your main function and you're done see the more you try to solve the problems the more you will be able to think about the solution so quickly okay so don't think that i was not able to solve this or i was not able to even think or approach the problem no it's okay if you can't it will take some time and we all have to learn right we we don't born with all these skills no one was born okay and if they learn you can also learn don't worry it's just that how much time you put in all these problems that much you will become good it's like learning a cycle okay if you would have fallen from the cycle at the first day when you started writing this then you left it saying that no it is so hard i cannot do this then still you won't be knowing how to ride a cycle because you just quit right but what happened you fall and you again started learning right so don't quit here there was a time i was so poor in all these things and now i understand all these things very easily because i have put time and effort to understand all this and dude it is not an overnight job <laughs> it will take time so all the best keep solving the problems and one day you will be a grandmaster if you don't give up okay so never give up i know one day you will be like super cool dude who can actually solve everything okay so you'll be like a grandpa <laughs> in problem solvings <laughs> so thanks for watching keep learning i'll see in the next videos and yeah don't forget to hit the like button guys it helps me a lot thank you already bye bye